One of the recommended solutions when you have a whole bunch of questions that you need to add to an Adobe Captivate eLearning project is to use a, a GIFT format file. GIFT is the uh, file format that's used if you want to type out a whole bunch of questions and import it into many popular learning management systems and authoring tools. And this way you can share that file with perhaps a subject matter expert to verify that the answers and the question are all valid before you actually import it into your course. The problem exists though is that with an Adobe Captivate project, uh, there is an issue with uh, lines in the multiple choice, fill in the blank and Likert question, even the matching style question. Uh, the, the lines of text really only allow for one line answers. Uh, this is a comment that was uh, on my channel a couple of weeks ago uh, where Bodel15 uh, you know, asked, is there a possibility to preset the answer height in the master slide? Well, unfortunately on the master slide, if we go there right now, I'll open up my properties inspector and click on the master slide view and we'll scroll down to, let's say the uh, master slide for multiple choice questions, true, false, fill in the blank, and sequence. Um, the, you really can't control the line height because you see there's just really a placeholder that will eventually get populated with your answers. But, uh, you know, it really is not, not set up so that I can control the height of that. But here's my workaround. Hopefully this will help you. What I can do is I can go to this particular uh, character item and, uh, you know, if you've got, let's say in this example here, 18 point high um, or 18 point size fonts, you can double or perhaps even triple it if you know that you have particularly long answers that you need to import here. So I think uh, what we'll do in this case here is we'll make this ridiculously large here and I will apply this uh, this change or save the changes to the existing style so that not only will it affect multiple choice, true, false, and uh, fill in the blank and sequence questions, uh, but also it'll ap apply itself to uh, matching and uh, Likert style questions as well. So I'm going to exit from the master slide and return to film strip view. And what I'm going to do now is use the quiz, um, the quiz uh, drop-down menu and import my GIFT file that I've prepared for this example project. So now, of course, I've got uh, placeholders for uh, these answers. And as you can see, they're ridiculously large. My intention is not to keep them that way. But as you can see, the height of the placeholders for these answers are rather large and that's helpful. So I'm going to return this item. I'm going to pick one of the uh, answers and return it back to its original character uh, size. I am going to change the alignment to top align so that the uh, the numbering or the lettering for each answer is aligned with the, the first row of those items. And now I'm simply going to, under the style name menu, save changes to the existing style. And what should happen is that it will update all of these with plenty of extra space for those items. You might have to adjust a few of these for certain objects that also appear on the screen. But as you can see, here's even an example where I have three rows and it's easily dealt with in just a couple of small steps. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.